if it is even rice it's a value added product coming out from paddy so if we start in that format so we have various items what we can be uh, doing that that that's what we do in our uh, aggregate center so the most uh, what what we can say is like operating these at the low level of the value chain means rural areas is our concept where we want to establish this mini food processing industries or multi, multi food processing industries in the rural areas that's what we are uh, trying to mobilize to the fpos and also entrepreneurs who are wishing to start their rural entrepreneurs so we target like uh, young generation entrepreneurs like you or college students who are wishing to start off with so our incubation uh, um, program starts with that mainly emphasizing on the rural enterprises so rural means it's it's there the actual produce is there and that, that's where where we want to start the value addition process it may be an fpo too farmer producer organizations itself is an enterprise what we term like because they are meant to do businesses so if if we consider that the scale would be different but if you are considering as an individual entrepreneur it will be a different scale so coming to food processing center at a glance we have lot of scope and india is placed in a well placed position in the entire world so we are the country where we are having all all vegetables all fruits all cereals grown none of the country is blessed with that so we are placed in a very specific position where every other country is looking forward to india for imports so we are already doing the exports but what we are exporting the raw material but we are importing the finished product so this is the area where there is lot of gap which i observed and i'm i'm emphasizing on that factor where why should we import uh, a simple example what i would tell is like we are the largest producer of red gram but simultaneously we are the largest importer of a red gram too so there is a gap here in production itself we still have to if if you consider this organic practices or crop rotation practices there is a gap of production itself but simultaneously if you are going for oils we have oil seed production but why are we importing again oil now the government is emphasizing on palm oil we don't know how much successful we will be but it's an intervention again just to reduce the imports part of the india so value addition is again going to be like next 5 years 10 years this is going to be the key for the india's growth the gdp or whatever you say there is lot of potential in the market itself and we are we are placing ourselves as the largest producers but simultaneously again coming back to our consumption because we are now the highest populated yeah so we we uh, our primary key is to feed our own nation leave about exports feed our own nation let us be self dependable let us not get re reduce the imports then we talk about exports so there is a huge difference and again the fdis and all these they are people are working on the policy levels there are huge big minds which are working on it but whatever we can do being at a lower level and the small level we we have to intervene so so this is the global market what we should say the exports are hugely growing and uh, if you see the last three years growth itself even after covid covid has taught us that food food whatever is available at our doorstep is the only source for our life right so then we have to make those village centers or mandal centers as the hubs which can be self uh, sufficient with the produce what the villages or the mandal people are able to do this is our uh, aim now so we want to establish those mandals or villages as a hub centers where they can address their own regionals so no matter where even if covid comes it it will not affect us anymore we had many many challenges during covid that we had to close all village um, entry points and we have to so if because we had whatever we had we do but, but why are we not working on to have everything around us so that we are not depending on the external sources so the food processing industries what we are planning to uh, even uh, why are we talking about food processing because the farmers they are growing only farm produce and they are selling to the traders i know there is lot of um, have a going on in during the season off the season everything is there but still if we can train those farmers training itself is the key gap what we have thought to so then when we are uh, trying to um, establish those entrepreneurs or enterprises we also face some problems in uh, tapping them because again funding is was a problem even for myself when i was uh, passing through the journey i took lot of time to figure out many things so we are coming up with a solution where these thing these all these gaps can be at least addressed to a minimum point of level where the 
um, aspiring entrepreneurs can come to our doorstep or uh, get some basic information and then figure out the rest of the things. So uh, as uh, Sir has said that fruits and vegetables is the highest um, uh, product where we can have more of value addition and also have a huge range of medicines, um, for a huge range of uh, um, value for our uh, product. So, so we, I'll just brief about uh, uh, five minutes on why we are talking about this value addition. This rice can be further value added into many products. So this is the value chain of the rice. The price of the value, what you can see in the graph, graphical mode where we can say, uh, these, are, these are everyday things what we are eating. We are not talking about higher products which we are uh, aiming for. We are talking about basic value addition which we want to teach to farmers or farmer producer organizations or any entrepreneur who wants to establish coming to this mini rice mills what we are doing. So, so when you are talking about farmers, when you are teaching to farmers or when you are telling them, so they are little uh, hesitant to start an industry. So they are in a kind of a mode saying that industry is not our part. So mini food processing, there is a lot of research has gone that mini food processing units. At least this is not the product which is coming out of it might not be a product which can export, but it is consumable. So uh, what we need finally? Are we eating the first grade uh, vegetable? Are we eating the first grade rice? No, right? So we can eat in the other form. So what forms we can eat, we are trying to do. Similarly, we have many processing units available across and we are also uh, partnered with many agencies who, can, who are the manufacturers of these processing units. We are not manufacturing of those processing units, but we are partnering with them so that all capacities, even if a farmer is coming to start up with a to start a rice mill of 100 kg capacity, we are trying to get those entrepreneurs, the manufacturer to our board and saying that this is available here at this kind of cost. So similarly, we have red dam value addition. You all know how the price varies even if you do the storage and processing, little processing. So this is how we again we talk, talk about mini dal mills which can be available. So the cost of the dal mill which I have now it's like 7 lakhs which has everything now. I can I can do uh, all the dals. It's only the sewage, sieves we have to change. And so we have manufacturers already there, but we have to reach out to them and then we can do. Similarly, turmeric. So I'm talking about the products which are more uh, prominent in Telangana. So uh, basically, we usually uh, deal with the farmers in and around. So we have uh, those value addition done. The solar dehydration again, fruits and vegetables. Because I emphasize on this because this is the most. Um, um, I should. Say this is this should be promoted at a higher level i know the cost of the machine is a little high but we have tunnel dryers also as an option also we we should at least for the fruits and vegetables this is the only option what we have if this in combination with cold storage would be really um, helpful similarly cold press oils for the oil seed producers so we are also planning to um, go it in an aggressive way. We, though we have uh, two machines installed in our unit, but these, uh, at least for the producers where <coughs> if you go to Anandpur and Karnul, you get all these uh, oil seeds. But if you can s send oil in, in instead of nuts, they, they are having. So people coming from there, we would suggest that depending on the product, what they have. So there are again, these are the high end values what I can teach to anyone. It may not be suitable for farmers at the first stage, but for entrepreneurs like you, this is possible. Any, any, any range you can take. You can go to, it's, it's just slides which will attract your eyes. But if you want to think about it, yes, we can help out. I just want to make my slides more colorful so that it is more attractive. So, but this also gives us the scope where we can reach to, right? So, all these are items which are daily consumed by us. None of it is not a product which is uh, not co you commonly used. So, it has major of the market. It captures major major market. All these products are made again from this one and machineries are available. Though we don't have all these higher end value added, there is a purpose for me not to go to that level because the target what I am taking may not go to that level. But there are machineries, all these research institutes are go, doing IMR, uh, PGTAC, everyone is doing the research where uh, they can give that uh, product uh, for you. Spices. 
all the masalas all the seasonings all uh, all the pizzas are given that all these are coming again from the value added products from the basic products and created with some value added some mixtures some uh, kind of uh, intervention in the product development and then they are doing similarly we have pickles dried vegetables which doesn't have good market here but it has export market again moringa if you talk about moringa the moringa cultivation has grown because though we don't have a good market in india but it has a very great market in another medical field and all these uh, areas so this food business address where you want to do this slide i took from sir only from previous this one and uh, see where you want to start off with where you want to really do uh, your uh, level of enterprise whether it be a major aggregator where is it, it be a primary processing or secondary processing or manufacturing you can go to the different level of uh, structures so now coming to aggregate what we are here what we are offering so oh, it's not audio connected no it's okay then i can share the video then you can share with them so this is a kind of why we have uh, evolved so that is the video which we uh, try to uh, uh, show before our presentation because most the place where i worked was with shg women i saw a lot of potential in them doing business in fact i thought of putting business only after seeing them when they can take risk why not me earlier i was into completely education training and everything but the risk what they are taking every day the risk taking facility um, capability i learned from them only so i just want to give them back again in the form of like what can be best done so how what we are doing again the other is employment where we are talking about all the agriculture graduates moving out of agriculture there are many software people who are coming into agriculture and okay. innovating doing doing all the hardships to just survive in that but why are the agriculture graduates not coming back so that is again the target which i really want to work on maybe i'll be going to universities or uh, um, alumni we, which we want to dislike only unemployed we will talk employed people yes they are settled they don't want to come out and many of them are wasting 2 3 years of uh, their after post graduation to write only exams they also know that they don't get even my employees now i have like 30 employees out of which 10 are from agri graduates and masters and they write this first again they are writing for jobs i will not deny for that but keeping that only as a target is not the option what i want to teach there are many other options which can be really tapped on and there is huge scope when there is huge scope in your own field why are you even going to other field this is the challenge which i want to address similarly our vision is to again uh, basically make make those rural economies sustainable where we can really tap in the potential and use up that rural infrastructure what we have we have lot of social capital which is already mobilized into sgs jos and uh, we we vos and everything so we have we want to use this and in infrastructure and then start up because they are already having funding linkages through sriniti everyone knows that so when they have already funding linkage we just have to uh, show them a kind of stuff similar all the youth who are studying in the most of the youth who are studying into agriculture comes from the rural backgrounds why can't they go back and set up an enterprise starting a custom hiring center start starting a collection center there are many options which can be done similarly bioman your shops we have multiple options but yeah the scale what they want to operate maybe depending on that we can design the business plans and then we can mobilize uh, their structures this is what we are coming up with like a one stop platform where we want to address the need of an aspiring entrepreneur so where again what to start how to do how to get it done and the entire process so we we are planning to we are a one stop platform where we will be addressing all these similarly um, the principles again it all uh, it all should be in in within the company and also it should be going ahead similarly as is a one stop area the unique model what we are doing is like we have a training center inside the manufacturing unit so we are evolved in that format so because earlier when i was training aca bc students or everyone was complaining it was like see we have learned all these in our degree and all these stuff but we don't have a practical experience we don't have a place where to learn 
everyone is stop, stopping at the teaching but not on the training part which is the essential part of an entrepreneur to get the confidence levels so here we are coming up with a model where we want to establish a skill development center we are now empaneled with uh, agriculture skill council of india we are trying to uh, put uh, different modules for all the agri graduates where they can get the skill based trainings so as sir said your certificate only gives you minimum qualification but actual qualification is the skill where you will which will help you to evolve further the skill is what which is required even you don't need a certificate also sometimes but the skill takes you to that level where you can uh, reach to heights so similarly we would like to go in fact i would i wanted to announce as an organic manufacturing unit but uh, the pro the scale which i am operating doesn't have product availability so i had to uh, really again go to inorganic because um, I cannot declare organic until and I am doing 100% organic. When the product is not available, I cannot keep my machinery free. This is how I evolved my even mass or anything. It's through the process I've evolved. That's what I'm telling. So when I, when I started my process, like taking the land, procuring the land, I thought only one unit. Then again, it went to multi. And then when I wanted to uh, declare it as an organic, I didn't have a produce. Then, okay, this is the gap again I have to address again. So this is how I evolved through the process. COVID has given me that time. Luckily, to think on more deeper, more when I was doing. So I thought I will uh, start off with the skill center, but we didn't had an opportunity to even construct. COVID has restricted for two years. So I started with online webinars. Sir was one of our speaker. So this is how I wanted to emphasize on the structure. I'm not leaving everything, but maybe at a later stages, when the product is available, when the produce is available, I may declare. But as on date, we are not ready with uh, declaring our uh, unit uh, as uh, totally organic because uh, as sir said, the export market, which is always capturing my eye. As an entrepreneur, I always have to look about an, how much business I will be making out. It's investment versus business, how much we are doing. And again, ROAs, return of investment. When are we getting? This is, uh, this is the only bottom line what we have to talk. So only if you go to organic, only if you go to exports, I can really get back my investment so this is the team what we have now including the support staff we recruited the SAG women again teaching them all the processes later these these all these people I I have already told them that I want you to be either entrepreneurs by yourself or else stay in the organization I will give you my shares this is only two options so any after two years they will be entrepreneurs either in the either the form so advantages what we are having compared to other institutes is like we are linked because i worked in the rural sector i i worked in the government sector i worked in the international sector so i have kind of network which i have built up this is my strength always but again coming back to integrated skill center is again the strength so we have a nice training room to accommodate 40 people Again, we have all the machinery. I'll be going uh, passing on through my slides what all machinery is, what all the capacities, what we have and how we evolve. So that will help you. So again, our approaches awake. First, awareness is the key. This is how we participate in uh, whenever some uh, institutions uh, call us for. So we do first awareness is the key and then coming to scope. This is again, this is scope which I want to show to the agri graduates specifically, agri and diploma or anyone who are trained by education. Because that is the, again, see, I cannot teach how the grain grows to a um, software professional. It takes time. But for me to teach a professional who has been trained on by education, it's easy for me. So I'm trying to capture those agri graduates uh, through this scope model. And core would be like establishing those enterprise enterprises at the rural areas. So our model is like, again, as an integrated unit, we have everything there. We have a rice mill we have dal mill we have millet mill we have cold storage we have dehydrator too cold press oils so we have like chautopal unit so my ip would be like the design what i have done to accommodate all this in a half acre model i'm not even asking more land 
so this is this is again going to be like a, a, an effort what we have put up is like in half acre model putting every stuff into consideration because food processing needs all the safety measures which needs to be done we are still evolving in the process we just started two months back and we are getting um, uh, visitors down the line we have recently restricted the visitors only to saturdays because our processing has started we cannot accommodate everyone every day what is the project cost for half acre 2.35 crores. 2.35? 35 crores. This is possible. So we are, as an individual, you can get 2 crores of loan. Right? If you are really aiming to. So I had to, that, that's what I was telling. Designing that model within the budget was that. Skill center is not part of it. Skill center has to out uh, another area. But 2.35 crores, we can manage that. How I did it, how I could do it, this is my journey which I want to teach to everyone. I am open to discuss, I am open to suggest or if anyone wants to visit also we are open. We just want at least to see the thought process, okay this is possible. We may not be able to invest in everyone's but people who have wanted to invest, they will have an idea. I am getting enquiries that they want me to run the show they will invest and i i'm said i'm saying no because that is not my concept i want to identify those people who would run that shows because i cannot say that i can run 10 industries simultaneously that's practically not possible for an individual it is practically not possible rather i can create those 10 individuals who can run those 10 industries that we can do this may take time, uh, but as on date, we this is the target audience what we are uh, uh, targeting for, and this is how we want to address our supply chain. Because earlier our enter uh, enterprise was uh, facing those problems. Though we started with marketing of FPOs, we could not uh, handle the supply chain due to unavailability of the product on time. So with this manufacturing unit, again we want to address that, and we want to uh, go back to our uh, this one. And the white labeling is what uh, we are offering for any entrepreneur who wants to do like. Production will be there, manufacturing will be mine. If you want us to give those products in your brand also, we are ready. Because this is what I, I wish to grow further. This is how I wish to grow further. This is how I am inviting everyone to collaborate. Where I can say, my manufacturing unit will be at full capacity. I want to run it three shifts. I have the potential. But be a competitor, that's why I am telling, come uh, yeah. see my industry and establish be my competitor I'm openly giving that because so much scope is there even if you start see each mandal if you can you can start that capacities of industries and we have huge funds available there is no dearth in funds and agriculture in COVID has gained importance all the schemes have been diverted to agriculture because finally everyone realized that food is the only thing which we have to concentrate right so what are we waiting for <coughs> so these are the list of services what we would uh, we are offering so awake is again a small session which will conduct if anyone wish to talk in detail how much because it all we are only offering customized services there is no predefined service what we'll be giving because again it all depends on the product which is available at your place I cannot say uh, to set up an oil machine where there is no oil production. This is not my target. My target is establishing those mini enterprises where the product is there. So who is coming there? It all depends on whoever is coming first. Then we have exposure visits which is like every Saturday we have like 10.30 to 12.30. If anyone wants, uh, you can contact us and book your uh, registration and we are open because Saturday is our cleaning day. Anyways, we will be cleaning our Saturday afternoon. So once you leave the premises, we will be on cleaning. So that's how we schedule everything. Even sat choosing Saturday was a strategy decision because most of the investment is in the IT sector. Who can think on this? So they can come down on Saturdays. So again, everything is related to what we can do. Right? Saturday. Sunday is an off day. So Monday, ev everything is fresh to start off our operations. Again, we have these trainings on machineries on product development how we are doing we are going to uh, we are already doing the uh, ready to eat and ready to cook uh, recipes once the production is on we will be coming up with our own brand and also white labeling all products will be available the other is again incubation program where we do after trainings if anyone wants to really seriously start off their enterprise we have an annual incubation program i'm an incubator of manage 
but which I could not address myself. I am starting with another incubation program, which is annual, which we are not charging more also. There's, again, we will start from uh, all the services will be listed. Maybe you, you have your flyers on, so you can go through that. Uh, I will not take much of time. And these FPO consultants also we have. If, if anyone is working with FPOs, I have another set of people. So FPO is, again, we are treating as a separate entity because the scale of operations is diff different scale. So we would like our uh, unit to be a model unit for all those FPOs where they want to establish because all the FPOs have now gained traction. They are doing input procurement and collection centers and all these they have gone. So next stage of FPO intervention would be food processing units where again they can come down, learn on what, whatever they want. So it's open. The skill center is open to everyone but uh, the consultancy would be like a three-year uh, module where we will do a wide range of services. And the manufacturing SSS, which I was supposed to talk, actually, to give up, to get you on to what, why we have come up with that. So I would like to do that. These are the mentoring session slides. What we will be doing, if anyone is interested, we will be sharing all this. This 99 rupees also just to give you shoe cover, head cover, mask. That's the cost we put. We don't want to overly charge for the uh, exposure visits, but we would not love to give free visit also because there is a charge included with us. We are charging for that. And this is the incubation program which is available on your flyers. Uh, this is the consultancy what we are offering, like a kind of a, we would like to address through. Maybe I will be reaching out to sir when it is required. So we are believing in collaborations. We are going only on partnerships. We are not saying that we are the solution, but we can. we are saying that if you come to us, we can give the proper guidance, which is again the see going to 10 institutes is difficult again for any entrepreneur. So you, you can come, we will invite all those um, uh, renowned people to us because in our training center, we would like to go to that level. So this manufacturing as a service, why we started because to address my own capacities, I didn't want to compromise on the capacities first because if I want to expand my business again, I have to reinvest again. So I went ahead with my investment thinking my business would be doing. Uh, in a, for FPO, this is the app because I want to teach to FPOs. This is the minimum capacity is what they have to do because my capacities are half ton per hour. So per day, we can close it on three to three and a half tons manufacturing. So if I want to three, do three ships, compare how much I, I can, how much scope I want to do. There is scope. If I get good market, if I get good, but these are all depending on, again, various factors. Marketing is again a very key. I may not be able to sell my product also. That's why we went for white labeling. All these came out of the existing structure which we want to address. So this is any FPO can take it up. Anyone can do. If that can be done, I, I'm ready to close my aggregate also. I'm not closing on these, but I will evolve with the further value added products, right? The basic things I'm teaching now, once those FPO set up those basic things, I will evolve with the further value added products. I did not go for a pulping industry. I did not go for a canning industry, which is high end. I did not go for turmeric oil extraction industry. There is a huge range of value addition going on there, but it did not start though I had knowledge, which we want to teach to farmers. We went to the basic value addition which can be re really happily adoptable for them because that is the product what they are consuming. Even in a marketing also, I don't have to really pull my efforts to sell those products because consumers are already available there, right? But once they, they establish these enterprises at that scale, then I will evolve to all this value addition. I have space. I just have to replace the machinery, do some uh, modifications and I have to reinvest, right? So that is how we have evolved. So we have everything till now we are processing to this to this level and further value addition will be taken care of after a few days. So this is a process flow chart, how we defined our uh, everything. So once you visit the center, you will be having a kind of a more detailed view why we are talking about because designing that in that small place is also again because I have a warehouse, I have a cold storage unit, I have everything. So I have packing unit, I have uh, finished product unit. This is the design what we are doing. So this is paddy millet processing and everything, you know, we are eating everything now. And similarly, this machinery capacity is what we are having now. So we have designed in that way because the product which is coming out of it is the raw material for the other. Right, I don't, there is nothing waste. 
I'm also planning for a recyclable plant there where even the husk is used up in somewhere because I have rice husk, everything, I have oil cakes, I have everything, fruit and vegetable market because what I'm teaching there, biomanual units, everything we'll be teaching in later stages. We have the raw material again there. Wastage of one machinery is the raw material for the other. So we want to teach that sustainability also in the machinery because again if we start a value addition process again we have to teach all those back end uh, problems also. So we are trying to figure out a way where we just started so we cannot speak it so loud so that we have a kind of bio manual unit also. It will take little time but we are in search of machineries. Recently when I went to Samunati sir I, f I found a, a entry saying that they are they can their machinery can do both freezing and drying also so I, I will be investing again on that because freezing it will help me for my fruit pulp but for drying all this raw material for drying so if the same machinery can address maybe not to the level of solar dehydrator i have a solar dehydrator to address that thought process should be evolving so where your the raw material which is coming in should be used up in some or the other form and should go in the value added form that's how uh, we want to evolve Similarly, we have this millet processing, dal processing. Paddy. So we have all these machineries installed there and where we can uh, uh, take it forward. Coal press oils, we have two units. We have coal storage for eight metric tons. We have impact pulverizers to address this chili and turmeric and all the value added products. Because we are planning to go for export, we have to invest in the impact pulverizer also, which may not be. This that's the reason I was telling this. It should be a customized model. It cannot be a unique model, right? So that is how we are uh, plan planning to do and masala powders we will be evolving because we have enquiries for that we are trying to evolve those though the recipes are under process the product development like we have a small lab also for that which we are using for product development later we will be evolving to the food testing laboratory also because it's again a very big process so cold storage we have eight metric tons now it is filled with six metric tons of mangoes which we are processing now through dehydrator because we are trying to capture the current product what is available since we are late in procurement we are doing whatever is available from next season we'll be procuring from the farmers and every um, fpo so that we can address our capacities so these are the products which we are doing on solar dehydration our mango rolls are up you can browse it on vmart global so we put up an online platform also for everyone's so we are teaching from end to end how we want to do even starting an e-commerce platform is not so costly maybe it will not be very uh, suggestive to the farmer producer organizations for for an entrepreneur who can pick those farmer producer organizations products will be an option so that's how we want we are trying to do we we are uh, we are good to go with the mango we will be starting with fruit other fruit rolls also very soon we are very well placed near to batasingaram now the fruit market has shifted there so it's a blessing in uh, this one so i don't have to really worry about where i'll get the fruits also because the farmers are coming there themselves there and they are selling so i'm taking from farmers i'm paying to farmers only but the market is very nearby so i'm taking that uh, and solar dehydration it takes away all the pesticides so it is we can say that is it is uh, safe enough so this is the capacity what we have now but we would like to expand uh, further because we are falling short of our own capacity we have because for uh, vegetables we are taking a lot of uh, space is it besides the varsha biosense mm, this is chautapal industrial estate sir this is very new industrial estate which has come up from two years no earlier industries are there now mine would be like around uh, there are 580 acre, 580 industrial units which are coming there are msm units not related to food processing but one, mine is one of the food processing unit which we are evolving this 580 will be coming up in next two years i can say so this is the actual product what we are selling now earlier pictures were like taken from google but these are the pictures which we have clicked we are using only these pictures for our promotions. We, we are still evolving into uh, further packaging to uh, attract more consumers. Again, this is again a challenge for me now to invest, to go further. So this is the basic thing which we can uh, really uh, keep it up. Tandra. Tandra. <laughs> Mami Tandra. Mami Tandra only. Generally, we see it in See that is how. It is called with many names yeah. and uh, made in many forms. Many forms also. 
you have if you just uh, search Amazon they are selling huge so these are the dried vegetables which we made for samples even to know how much dried vegetable we will get if I put a one kilo of vegetable there because according to that we have to price right we cannot say that this is priced we don't want to make it huge price which is not affordable by a customer again we have to even think on the customer side also so we are trying our own making our own research uh, um, place figuring out ways and this again these tomatoes again are going into further uh, powders which can be used for masalas which can be used for sauces or any kind of for, uh, further uh, products so this is again dried they look so good these are the real pictures what i'm showing you which are taken from our uh, institute so this is how we we put up a stall in recent high techs because high techs is the market again where we have we should not lose it to make customer awareness on these products availability because preference, preference we are taking the feedback now that's what we want to go further our passion is this one there is no end to food and till the human life is there food is required so we will be working on agriculture and agriculture investments are really fruitful so my main aim to start off in agriculture was to maybe my career has defined to be that but retaining in agriculture is only because of where i worked <laughs> thank you thank you everyone for giving this option